Hey looters, we're back with some more Loot Crate unboxings. Got this one right here. I think this is from December, but I could be mistaken. So let's check this out. We'll open it up. And have a look inside. Oh, actually, this is something different. This is one that I thought I was missing. So, all right, let's uh, check this out. So we've got some cool artwork in there as well. Looks like it's the futuristic theme uh, from Loot Crate. Uh, we have a t-shirt, we have a future armor, future armor uh, item in here. So let's check this out first. So this is the Planet Express uh, ship. And uh, big fan of future armor, I really love their stuff. So, so disappointed that the uh, show got canceled, but um, this is going to be pretty epic. All right, so, so there it is. Now take it out of its casing. Yeah. Of course, there's always sticky tape and these things, but with a little bit of manipulation, we can get it all out and propped up in no time. So, there's a the ship. Looking pretty cool. Looks like it's got a magnetized stand, which is even better. So you don't actually have to muck around. Oh, there's more sticky tape. Got a nice little stand, Planet Express. Put that on there. And then we place that on there. So that looks sick. Awesome. Love future armor, so Alrighty, this is number one in the in the crate. Um, I have to put this up here so that you can see it. I think you can see it just there. There you go. There we are. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right, we have a T-shirt. This looks interesting. Oh wow, is it? That's uh. Oh, that's Rick and Morty. Oh, that's Rick's bloody um, transdimensional gun. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's cool. Be wearing that. No one will actually know what that means in the house. So that's that's awesome. Uh, we have a Mega Man, Mega Man figurine. As you can see, we'll have a look in there as well. There's a uh, sticky tape here as well. So much sticky tape. Come on, people. Ah, oh. sticky. What? Why you got ah, sticky tape and then it's just all glued together anyway, so <laughs> that's just a, a waste of time. Why you do this? Anyway, let's see what we've got in here. So there's a whole heap of different things that you can get in here. Not sure which one we're gonna get. But um let's hope it's a, a rare one. Rip it open. Yoink. That's the orange Mega Man. Number one. <laughs> so there he is. Nice little figurine. He's cool. Let's get him up here. And then we have our pin. So futuristic is the theme. I'll take it out of this plastic bag again. I don't know why they put this in a plastic bag, but anyway. And it's got the Vulcan sign for peace. Ah. <laughs> so this is from July 2016. Futuristic is the theme. We have Star Trek, the next generation exclusive. Um, not sure what this is. Maybe it's something that we construct. But we're going to open it up and uh, check it out anyway. Because I am a... A fan of the next generation. And we have... What is this? Is this a, it's a sticker. Is it a sticker? Anyway. USS Enterprise. It is the uh, Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry. Utopia uh, with the Starfleet Command. Oh, it's actually got the creators, so um, Gene Roddenberry, Rick Berman, um, development group, and all that sort of thing. So um, it's an interesting piece. 
not my favorite piece but anyway uh we have a comic 4001 ad so not, i haven't actually seen this one before but um it looks pretty interesting i am going to keep it in there i'll probably get the uh the digital copy of it and uh check it out um so that's cool and then we have our Luke Crate Magazine, Futuristic, Futurama, with Rick and Morty, our first ever coloring page, wow, and then, uh, ooh, okay, so that turns into something pretty epic, like a space station, um, so we'll get onto that momentarily, uh, Rick and Morty, Guide to Bender, there's the Futurama spaceship, Star Trek Captains, Star Trek pin. Ah, Rick and Morty coloring in page. Awesome. What else do we have in here? Some more Mega Man stuff. Comic. Exclusive Valiant Comics 4001 AD. Valiant's recent resurgence into reader and critical acclaim may have caught you off guard, so we're kickstarting your collection with a variant cover. So there you go. Thanks, Blue Crate. You're so kind. Um, future tech, more advertising, more advertising, and the end of the book. Okay, so let's check out the crate itself. Got some stuff in there. Pull this apart. I actually had this box labeled for December, so I was wondering where where July was, and um, couldn't actually work it out. But uh, let's see what we have here. So I think this is like crate, almost almost up to thirty of uh, of all the crates that I've I've had. So looks like you can do some stuff and uh, make it make a bit of a PlayStation there, like a bit of a hangar. So you got the you can put your ships and all that sort of thing in there. So that's cool. Um, a little bit floppy, but uh, still good nonetheless. You can actually cut out this, I guess. Cut out that there, so you got the back end of the of the hanger. You can stick this up up to the back here, and um, that will turn into a full space uh, spaceport or hanger or whatever you want to use. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, and you know, I think it goes without saying, but the Futurama model is going to be the thing to have in this loot crate. Um, love it, magnetized as well, so you can see it's not not falling off. Um, even got some stuff underneath. So, uh, Mini Masters vehicle. So, that is awesome. Thanks very much for that, Loot Crates. And, uh, Looters, we'll see you again soon. Bye.